Hello friends. Welcome to Rajas Data Engineering. In this video, I'm going to explain very simple but still very commonly used PySpark functions union and union all. Let us understand the functionality and syntax first. Union and union all. Both of these functions basically combine two or more data frames. It would combine all the records from two data frames. The only difference between union and union all is union would, re uh, would uh, remove all the duplicate records from the resultant data frame, but union all would retain all the data frame, all the records from the data frame. But this is until Spark version 2.0.0. After Spark version 2.0.0, both are working similarly, which means union and union all both would retain the duplicate record. If we are expecting duplicate record by combining two data frame and we want to remove the duplicate records, then we have to go for another function that is called a drop duplicate. Let us see the syntax for union. So for union, it starts with first data frame, df1 dot, we have to give the key keyword union and we need to pass second data frame as a parameter. So this um, function would merge all the records from df1 and df2 and it will create resultant data frame df underscore union. Coming to union all, as I told, it is similar to union, but it would retain duplicate. This is, you know, until Spark version 2.0.0. And coming to syntax, it is similar to union. First, we need to pass the first data frame, then the keyword union all. Then we need to pass the second data frame as input. Union all would merge all the records from these two data frame and would create resultant data frame df underscore union all. One important check that we should be aware is in order to merge two data frame, the schema for those data frames should match. If there is any mismatch in the schema, then it will throw error. I have created a simple diagram to illustrate the functionality of union and union all. The first one is for union. Let's say the data frame one DF1 contains three records, the employee ID 100, employee ID 200, employee ID 300. And the second data frame DF2 contains Employee ID 300, employee ID 400, employee ID 500. Three records. Now we are merging all the records using union function. This is the syntax df1.union. Then we are passing second data frame as a parameter. So in this example, I have given output for Spark version below 2.0.0. So Spark version below 2.0.0 will remove all the duplicates. So here, now all the records from the data frame one would be added to the resultant uh, data. And coming to next data frame, employee ID equal to 300. That is already added from previous data frame. So it would be ignored. It would be eliminated. So only 400 and 500 would be considered. So this is the resultant data frame, df underscore union. Coming to union all, now I have given the same example, but this time we are doing union all. So which means it will consider the duplicate also union all would retain the duplicate also so here you can see employee id equal to 300 uh, twice this is the only difference until spark version 2.0.0 let us jump into the demo i have already created the workspace in databricks community edition the cluster is already up and running in this demo first i want to check the spark version because i'm using the community edition so let me check the spark version so i have already created the code to check the Spark version. Let me execute this one. See here, the Spark version that I'm using is 3.1.0, which means it is after 2.0.0, which means union and union all both will work in same manner. Anyway, I can show you the demo for both the cases. In order to proceed with this demo, first we need to create sample data frame DF1 and DF2. So in this um, cell, I am creating data, sample data frame DF1. So the list employee data holds the data for um, the first data frame. And the employee schema list holds the schema for first data frame. By combining the data and schema, I have created data frame DF1. 
So let me execute this one and at the end of the execution, it will display the result also. Execution is successful and the data frame DF1 got created. It is containing six columns and three records. Let me create another data frame DF2. So here the list employee data holds the data. Employee schema holds the schema by combining the data and schema. I have created DF2. Let me execute. Great. The execution is successful and it has created three records with six columns for this data frame. And let us see the data for both. Now here we have one record common between these two data frames. That is I employ ID 300 name John date of joining 2010 and department ID 100 gender null and salary 6000. OK, this record is present in both of these data frames. So basically this will create duplicate. So let me execute um, union first. So I'm creating resultant data frame df underscore union and the syntax to merge these two data frames df1 dot union df2. So I'm displaying. Let me execute this one. We will see the output. See here it has created. It has merged two data frames and. Returned all the records from both the data frames. Here you can see employee ID equal to 300 that appears twice. It means union contains duplicate also. But uh, if I want to remove the duplicate, how can I do? I can use a drop duplicates function. So the syntax for drop duplicates is drop duplicates. That's it. So I want to remove the duplicate from df underscore union data frame that we have created in this step. Let me execute this one and it will display the result. Great. This is containing only five records and only one entry for employee ID equal to 300. So this is how we can drop the duplicate. Moving to union all you now the syntax is um, different. You no know, instead of union, we need to put union all. But apart from that, the outcome would be same. We can see it has produced uh, six uh, records in the resultant data frame. So three from first data frame and uh, the next three from second data frame. So the record uh, where employee ID equal to 300 that is duplicated. OK, I want to show one more thing. If there is a mismatch in the schema, then how it would work. So what I want to do is, you know, we have created two data frame. This is the DF1. This is containing six columns and three records. And the, in the second data frame, same. It is containing three records and six columns. Now what I want to do is I want to create another data frame which will read, which will contain only the first five columns of data frame two. Then I want to I want to match this uh, uh, third uh, data frame with data frame one. With this one, so basically the first data frame will contain six columns and the second uh, data frame that we are trying to merge that will contain only five columns. Let's see. So in this step, what I'm doing is first I have created new data frame by selecting from second data frame. Now I'm selecting the columns employee, sorry, employee ID, name, date of joining, employee department, and gender. Only five columns. We have excluded salary intentionally. Let me execute and let us see the result. Here you can see. And it is similar to DF2, but it has excluded salary column. Now let me try to merge DF1 with this uh, DF3. So let me execute. Basically, it will throw an error because there is a mismatch in the schema. The first uh, data frame contains six columns, but uh, DF3 uh, data frame contains only five columns. So there is a mismatch in the schema, so it should uh, fail. Let me execute. Here you can see union can only performed on tables with the same number of columns, but the first table has six columns and the second table has five columns. 
So this is very important condition. When we are merging two data frames, the schema should match. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel and don't forget to click on the bell button. Thank you.